This video is on Hodgkin's lymphoma. Lymphomas are disorders caused by malignant proliferations of the lymphocytes. And these lymphocytes accumulate in the lymph nodes, causing lymphadenopathy. But they may also be found in peripheral blood or infiltrate organs. Lymphomas are histologically divided into two types, which are the Hodgkin's and non-Hodgkin's types. So in Hodgkin's lymphoma, Characteristic cells with mirror image nuclei are found, which they are called Reed-Sternberg cells. I will show the pictures later on. Regarding the incidence of Hodgkin's lymphoma, there are two pigs, which are the young adults and elderly, who are more common to get Hodgkin's lymphoma. For young adults, Hodgkin's lymphoma is the commonest malignancy among 15 to 24 year olds. And the second pig is in elderly. Whereas for male to female ratio, it is more commonly seen in male, where the ratio is 2 to 1. The risk factors of Hodgkin's lymphoma include if you have an affected sibling, Epstein-Barr virus infection, SLE which is systemic lupus erythematosus, and post-transplantation. For symptoms, Patients with Hodgkin's lymphoma often present with enlarged, non-tender, and rubbery nature superficial lymph nodes. Most of them are cervical lymph nodes, where they consist of 60-70% to 70 of the cases, and some also presented with enlarged axillary or inguinal lymph nodes. The lymph node size may fluctuate, and they also can become mated. And 25% of the cases have constitutional upset, for example, symptoms like fever, wet loss, night sweats, pruritus, and also lethargy. They may also be alcohol-induced lymph node pain. And sometimes if it involves a mediastinal lymph node, it can cause mass effect, like bronchial or superior vena cover obstruction, or direct extension, for example, causing pleural effusion as well, where the patient complains of shortness of breath. The most significant sign of Hodgkin's lymphoma is lymphadenopathy. This is a picture showing a cervical lymphadenopathy in Hodgkin's disease. You can see that there is a swelling at the neck region, at the right side. Other signs include cachexia, anemia where the patient looks pale, with conjunctival pallor and palmar pallor as well. And also on abdominal examination, look for spleno or hepatomegaly. Investigations for Hodgkin's lymphoma include tissue diagnosis. We can do lymph node excisional biopsy if possible. And we may need image guided needle biopsy, laparotomy, or media stenoscopy. For blood investigation, you can do full blood count, peripheral blood film, ESR, liver function test, and also lactose dehydrogenase. An increase in the ESR or low hemoglobin level will indicate a poorer prognosis, a worse prognosis. LDH is expected to be high as it is released during the turnover of the cells. For imaging, the investigations that we can do are chest x-ray to look for mediastinal enlargement, suggest a mediastinal limb node involvement. CT or PET scan of the thorax, abdomen and pelvis can be done as well. This is a picture of the Reed Sternberg cell, which is a characteristic sign, characteristic finding in Hodgkin's lymphoma. So the first picture shows a Reed Sternberg cell with two nuclei, and the second picture shows another Reed Sternberg cell. So you can see that the cells are like mirror image, they have mirror image nuclei. For the staging of Hodgkin's lymphoma, we can stage using the n abor system. There are four stages, and this staging influences the treatment and the prognosis. And the staging can be done by imaging, plus or minus marrow biopsy. So stage one is the disease is confined to a single lymph node region. Only a region of the lymph nodes are affected. Stage two is if it involves two or more nodal areas, on the same side of the diaphragm. Stage 3 is if it involves the nodes on both sides of the diaphragm. And stage 4 is it spread 
beyond the lymph nodes to the liver or bone marrow or other places. So this is an illustrative picture to help in the understanding of the staging system. And besides that, each of the stages, there are either A or B. A is if there is no systemic symptoms. B is if there is presence of B symptoms. And what are these B symptoms? So the B symptoms include weight loss, significant weight loss in the past six months, unexplained fever, or night sweats. And if there are B symptoms, it suggests a worse disease. So with the understanding of the staging, there can be 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, or 4A, 4B, depending on the presence of B symptoms or not. can be A or B. For the treatment, for stage 1A and 2A, for 2A if there is 3 or less areas involved, the treatment is to give radiotherapy plus a short course of chemotherapy. Whereas for stage 2A, more than 3 areas involved, up to stage 4B, all the stages in between this, you need a longer course of chemotherapy. So what are the drugs that, the drug regime? The mnemonic is ABVD. So there are adramycin, bilmycin, vinplastin, and darcarbamazine. So these drugs cure around 80% of the patients. And if there is poor prognosis or a more advanced disease, more intensive regimes are used. If there is a relapse in the disease, they will need a high dose of chemotherapy followed by autologous stem cell transplantation. So that's all for this video. Thank you.